The Bible says the dead don't go to heaven or hell when they die, but instead sleep in the ground awaiting the judgment and resurrection. Then why are there so many stories of talking to the dead? Because the Bible says the living know that they will die. We all know that. Then it says, but the dead know nothing. They have no more reward, for the memory of them is forgotten. Also their love, their hatred, their envy, they've now perished. Nevermore will they have a share in anything done under the sun. There is no work or device or knowledge or wisdom in the grave where you are going. That's, that's Solomon, the wisest man that ever lived, Ecclesiastes chapter 9. Uh, David says in the Psalms chapter 115, the dead do not praise the Lord. Ask yourself, if the dead are in heaven, they're not praising the Lord or are they not in heaven? The dead cannot communicate with the living according to the Bible. They're not even aware of what the living are doing. The Bible describes it, man lies down and does not rise till the heavens are no more. They will not awake nor be roused from their sleep. The sons come to honor. He doesn't know it. If they're brought low, he doesn't perceive it. That's Job chapter 14. Nevermore will they have a share in anything done under the sun. Ecclesiastes 9, 6. So man lies down. He does not rise. Job says in chapter 14 of Job till the heavens are no more. All these verses describing death like this sleep. The day of the Lord will come in which the heavens will pass away, 2 Peter says. And the Lord himself, in 1 Thessalonians chapter 4 says, the Lord himself will descend from heaven with a shout and the dead in Christ will rise. So this whole talking to the dead thing is a conspiracy of these fallen angels to take down as many of us as possible. So who are we humans talking to when we talk to the dead? The Bible says we're talking to the fallen angels, the ones who were kicked out of heaven. And in part three, we're going to jump into that.